So, for those of you who've never seen one before, this is a rope dart. Um, basically, it's uh, an ancient Chinese martial arts weapon. Uh, I picked it up through Wushu. Uh, and the idea behind it is it's about six meters worth of rope. Um, with a, a weight attached on the end. Now, I've, this is just my practice one. I've just attached a, uh, a poi, just tied to a piece of string. Uh, I'm using nylon, or I'm using gloves. Uh, the best sort of rope to use is either cotton or Kevlar, um, if you're gonna use fire. Um, if you're just gonna use practice, uh, actually a uh, parachute cord is really, really good. Um, slides really easy. You don't even need to wear gloves for parachute cord. Um, that's good, I hear bondage rope works quite well as well. Anyway, um, general general uh, rope dart things. Uh, first off, uh, usually you make a loop and you can you put the loop around your wrist. I'm not that fussed, it's really personal preference. Um, I have a knot that goes on my little finger, wrap it, allows me to shorten the length of my rope dart. Um, general length of a rope dart should be, when you widen your hands all the way out, it should be just off the ground, right? So this, uh, this one's actually a little short, uh, but that's okay. Um, the shorter it is, the easier it is to learn with. So this is actually about perfect length for a beginner. Um, so, what is a rope dart? Well, as I said before, it's a Chinese martial art weapon. And the idea of the, the, the rope dart is to wrap it around various parts of your body and shoot it. So, what we're trying to do, when we, the, the martial artists would have a big solid metal ball, and they would then ex exact a series of uh, quite difficult moves to wrap them and shoot. And it would hit their target and their head would explode, you know? Um, I, what I'm trying to teach you is not to have that. You don't really need that kind of accuracy. It's nice to have if you want to do really cool um, tricks, like if you, want, if, you, if you want to hit something in your act, it's really nice to have, um, but it's not essential. Uh, I've been doing rope dart for a while now, and while I can do some stuff that looks really awesome, um, I could not hit uh, the side of a barn. Well, probably could, but I couldn't hit uh, the middle of a target. There's no way. Um, it's just not that important. Uh, so, what I'm teaching you is essentially a circus dart. Um, so, it's rope dart for the circus performer. Now, if you've done poi before, that will help. Uh, it is. There are lots of similarities in the way that the circles work and the way it rolls around, the way you can wrap it around various parts of your body. Um, if you haven't done poi before, that's fine. Um, so what we're just going to start with is the general use uh, and how to throw it out. Okay? So what you've got, um, I always learn, you can be left-handed or right-handed. might get a little confusing for you if you're going to be left-handed, um, pretty much all, even left-handed martial artists use it this way. So with it in your right hand. Okay, so the, the first thing you need to learn how to do is to shoot it. And that's really simple. Basically all you're doing is you're bringing your two hands together and that lengthens the rope that comes out, right? So I've got the rope that's lengthened as it's come out when, it, when you shoot it. So if I, if I separate my hands, then I've only got about this amount of rope, right? So I can spin that, that's fine. And then I can put my hands together and bring them back. So basically, a really, really good thing to start with, a really good thing to start with is just going from side to side. This will help you with the motion of shooting it and bringing it back, right? And you're just going from side to side. Okay, just try and get that into the whole shot. Side to side. Yep, now this is quite, 
that can get quite tiring, actually. Um, it can definitely get quite tiring. So, um, a little trick, like a, a very good, important trick to learn, is that when you're bringing it together, lift your hand. So, while I might shoot at this level, down here, when I bring it, when I bring it together, if you watch, see, one hand is up, the other hand is down, trying to give as much rope length as you can, so that when it passes underneath, it doesn't drag along the ground. So, what we're doing, we shoot, we come back, we shoot, come back, we shoot. If that's too much for you, which, you know, it, it does take quite a bit of practice to be able to just go straight from one side to the other, you know. Um, so, if that's too much for you, what I can suggest is shooting and spinning and shooting and spinning and shooting. So, just step back. So you're spinning, shoot, put your hands together, right, okay, spinning, shoot, put your hands together, okay, just do that for the moment, let it drop to the ground, that's fine, cool, spinning, shoot, put your hands together, okay, and that's done. So, if we're spinning, then what we want to be able to do is to be able to do this continually. So, you shoot, and you spin, and you shoot, and you spin, and you shoot, and you spin. Right? Good. Practice that. And uh, once you've got comfortable with that, um, try to do just a few more spins, maybe turn with it if you can. Um, you should be able to, and then just get comfortable with just spinning it around and shooting it out. Okay? Alright, good start. Oh, of course, I uh, forgot to mention, um, this and also other tutorial videos um, are up on my site at poidojo.com. Uh, it's uh, right here. There. Okay, and um, yeah, so go and have a look. Um, there's some really good stuff on there, and if you want to learn more, go head to my site. It's uh, a lot better than just the YouTube. So, yeah, we'll see you there.